Well, hello, all my friends. Welcome back. Or if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. My name is T and this is my YouTube channel, Crumpency and Sewing. So today I'm going to be giving you my impression of the latest collection for Vogue as well as New Look. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the Vogue collection first. So the new Vogue patterns, this is for 2024 spring. And I was very pleasantly surprised um, by the uh, latest V2040 pattern by Diane von Futzenberg. So she's a Belgian American fashion designer. And uh, in the last Vogue collection, we saw the Vogue V2000, which is also another wrap dress. So it was her most famous iconic wrap dress. Um, and we are coming up on the 50th anniversary for uh, wrap dresses. And obviously, she's uh, the first uh, designer of the wrap dress, the first American designer for um, doing uh, wrap dresses. And so her 1970s wrap dress was a ground uh, was groundbreaking and was a hit. And so uh, it's a very popular pattern. So this is another uh, popular pattern of hers, a uh, reproduction of the Vogue V2040. And I'm just so excited to see this. It's another wrap dress. And by the way, uh, I just did a complete pattern review of the Vogue V2000. If you're interested in looking at the pattern review as well as the fabric um, and the garment that I made with that pattern, go ahead and click the link in the description box below and you can see that review. So today I'm just sharing with you um, a collection of different Vogue patterns though. Uh, so this come in PDF and paper um, format here. And then your options for sizes are six to 14 and 16 to 24. So most likely I'll fall in that 16 to 24 category. So when I decide to purchase this, I will be purchasing uh, the 16 to 24. And I can tell already from the line art and everything, um, I definitely want to get this pattern. Uh, let's read the description. It says that it is a vintage Vogue 1970s front wrap dress by Diane von Futzenberg for scratchable knits only front wrap dress three inches below mid knee or evening length with skirt gathered to fit bodice has neckline bands attached tie ends and side seam pockets sleeveless or short sleeves with mock sleeve band and as i mentioned before this is an authentic reproduction of Diane von Futzenberg's uh, design here. The classification for this is very easy. And here is the line art here. So just keep in mind, this is for knit fabrics only. So um, it's going to be a little bit more closer to the body. So depending on what size you choose, obviously, but it is designed to be more of a semi-fitted type bodice here. Um, and then the skirt flares out. And as you can see, those pretty gathers around the waistline. You have a bow or a tie detail that can be fashioned into a bow. I love the fact that it has a neck band around the neckline. When we see wrap dresses, we don't normally see the wrap bands or the neck bands that go around the neckline. And so I really like that about the pattern as well sleeveless and sleeve option you have a short sleeve and then you have this option of a no sleeve as well it looks like you have some back darts here but no darks in the front i think this is going to be a really great pattern um, especially if you love knits so i'm someone who i'm mm, a little you know i don't really sew with knits as much but I wouldn't be opposed to getting this pattern and i definitely want to include this into the wrap dress series. So that is the Diane von Futzenberg uh, Vogue V2040 pattern, which I'm definitely going to get a copy of that. Next, we have this uh, Vogue V2036, which is uh, Mrs. Vest and Pants. So really cute little vests. Vests are really uh, starting to make a comeback. 
I really like that, you know, they're including a lot of vest in uh, these collections because um, I, I, I do love vests. I just haven't found the right one for me yet, but I do like the classic looks of um, vest styles. So this come in PDF and uh, paper format. And then for your uh, size selections, you have size six to 14 and 16 to 24. I do like this vest. It's just, we have like a little pull on the side, like a little tab here on the side as your closure instead of buttons. I think personally, I would like buttons more, but let's read the description here first, and then I'll give you some more commentary on that. Uh, the description reads, unlined semi-fitted vest that has a notch collar, extended shoulders, front extending to side back, inside tie, front D-ring closure, and welt pockets with flaps, high rise pants, semi-fitted through hip, and have a contoured waistband, side, side front pockets, fly front zipper, hook and bar closure, and creased legs. And the rating is average. So as I mentioned before, I don't know if I'm in love with the, uh, the D-ring closure here. I per personally would prefer buttons, but it would be so easy to omit the um the d-ring closure and add buttons on the front i do like the notch collar for a more professional look and i'm not quite for certain how i feel about the extended shoulders however um i do love the the overall look and if i were to purchase this i would definitely wear maybe a sleeve like a bishop sleeve um to give me a little bit more full fullness um, and like I said, to kind of like uh, take the focus away from the arms. I love that the vest is cinched in at the waist. Um, and so it's um, less boxy. And so I think that would also provide a little bit more balance. And I like that it also flares out a little bit at the hip. So there are some things that I can actually do to get a more balanced look, in my opinion. If I were to put like a bishop sleeve or some type of puff sleeve underneath of it, I think it would draw more attention towards the waist versus the arms. Let's take a look at the pants here and see what they are offering. I do like that the pants have a little, a slight bell look, not too bellish. Um, I'm not one for really wide bo uh, bell bottom styles, but it just has just a slight bell to it, which I really like. I'm not too crazy about creased front pants, but again, that might be something that would probably be easy to omit. We have the fly front zipper hook and bar closure. So yeah, we are doing an entire zipper for the front for our closure. I really do think that these are some decent pair of pants and it looks as though they are more of a capri style. Um, it wouldn't be too hard to lengthen them if you want an actual pair of pants instead of capri pants. So yeah, I'm not opposed to this pattern. I can see the potential in this pattern. I can see, you know, some great styles coming out of this. I wouldn't necessarily get it. I don't think I'm going to get it. I would definitely have to feel it strongly in my bones before I decide to get it. And I'm just not feeling it yet. Next, we have a Rachel Comey pattern. This is the Vogue V2024 Mrs. Dress pattern. Now, normally I don't gravitate towards a lot of Rachel Comey's designs, but I happen to actually love this design and I'll give you my commentary in a moment and tell you why. Let's look at the format and the size options first. So we have PDF and paper copies here that we can choose from. And then for our size options, we have size 6 to 14 and 16 to 24. All right, so let's go ahead and read the description here. So the description reads, loose fitting midi dress that has a asymmetrical button front, short sleeves, drop waist seam, side front seams, back yoke, skirt pleats, and side front pockets. Waist is adjustable via self ties. 
coming from side front seams and concealed button tab at waistline so yeah the pattern is rated as advanced and i can see why you do have quite a bit going on here quite a few details it looks very simple in style but it looks like in terms of the type of sewing skills that you need it is at that advanced level I do love the back here. I like the pleats um, at the waistline here. I love the back yoke. You also have like this little uh, box pleat here that's underneath the yoke. I like the fact that you have a collar. It's a notch collar. It looks like the interfacing is going to be, you know, shown from the outside of the garment. So you want to make sure you choose your interfacing wisely. You have a drop, sh a slightly dropped shoulder that has a little bit of a sleeve on it. As the description uh, indicated you have ties that come from the side of the waistline that go wraps around to the back really decent pattern here i do like this one but again i have to feel it strongly in my bones before i decide to get any patterns here i would definitely consider this one but as of now i think i'm going to shelf this idea uh, continue to sew with a lot of the dress patterns that i have on my list for 2024 and i will circle back around to this one if i complete most of those projects um, that i have on my list for 2024. Next we have this uh, Vogue V 2025 Mrs. Dress pattern with sleeve variations. The formats that you can choose are PDF and paper and the size selections are 8 to 16 and 18 to 26. Let's look at some of the art um, or the model um, illustrations here. So it's it's a really nice pattern. You have a, a small little peekaboo cutout there just below the breast area. You have these beautiful, uh, well, you have a sleeveless variation, but you also have these beautiful flutter looking sleeves that are also really nice. Let's go ahead and look at the description here. Fit and flared dress, close fitting through bust and waist, has front cutout detail, bias ties, front welt pockets, invisible back zipper with hook and eye closure, and a 5 eighths of an inch narrow hem. And the rating is average. Here is the line art here. I do like that you have different panels for your skirt. You also have this little bralette type thing. I don't know how to describe it, but uh, you have a little bit of a bralette thing going on. And as I mentioned before, you can do the uh, sleeveless variation as well as the flutter sleeve variation. This isn't like my favorite pattern out of the collection. I can uh, see this made up and uh, looking really nice on uh, a few people that I'm thinking about in the sewing community. As far as for me, I, I would have to say no. I, I don't really like this pattern for myself, but I do think it's gorgeous on the model, especially this uh, one here with the blue. Blue is my favorite color. And so anytime I see something in blue, I'm, you have my attention. So I think that this is really cute. I love the blue color. Um, especially on this particular model. Um, she looks so classy and elegant in this. It's just a really great style for her. I think I would like it more without the ties. I understand that the, the ties are there to possibly function um, to hold up that bralette. Um, however, I would like to see it without the tie. It looks like we have uh, some more shorts and pants here, uh, Vogue V2034. We can get this in PDF and paper format. And the size selections are 8 to 16 and 18 to 26. The description reads that this is a sailor style shorts or pants, fit it through the hip, sit on the natural waistline. You have a front flap with button closure, side front pockets, and back yoke with the inseam pockets. View A has stitched hem and view B has hem facings with self-in fringe detail. 
let's look at the art illustration here. I have to say, I, I don't like the front so much. On the model, it just, it looks amazing. Let's go to, yeah, it looks amazing. And I love the detail of, oops, I went out of the image here for a moment. But I love like the detail here. You have, you know, these button details that's going across the pants. Um, I love the contrast that's on the the blue pants themselves. And as, as I mentioned with the previous uh, pattern, if it's in blue, you have my attention. I'm really paying attention. Um, so I really love the blue. I love how the white is contrast against the blue, like the buttons that they chose. And then she has this uh, white top. The model has a white top. And so that kind of plays into the blue. So I love the styling of this. It's so gorgeous. Uh, I really do. But the actual design and the detail of the pants, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the arched design here this feature that's in the front it's just not something that I like look at this variation here again I really love how they uh, took this really gorgeous copper tone um, these copper tone buttons and paired it against this beautiful um, it looks like this is boucle here fabric that or some type of tweed um, that they made out of uh, these pants. And I absolutely love the style of the pants. They're not too wide, um, but they flare out just just right. I love the pockets and everything. I, I just, I do love the styling and the detail on the model. It's just, I don't like the, um, this here overarching, uh, piece here. I don't even know what to call it, but I don't really like that piece there. I don't know if it's just top stitching or if it's an actual piece that you're cutting out and sewing it onto your pants that way. Uh, the styling is impeccable and I love the way that they, they have the models uh, styled. I'm just not a fan of that front piece there. Here's another dress pattern. This is the Vogue V2026 and two different lengths. You can purchase this as a PDF or a paper copy. The size range is from 6 to 14 and 16 to 24. And let's look at how the model is styled here. I'm going to say for this first variation, I don't like the styling of this uh, so much. It looks more like a house gown than a dress. Uh, so I don't like the styling of that one. This one's a little better. Um, I'm not crazy about the trim that they chose here, but the dress, the, the color of that dress is really gorgeous. Um, but yeah, this looks more of a, like a house gown to me, um, especially in the white. That lace is pretty though. And the back with that scooped neckline, that's really cute. I love the gathers back there as well. But again, it, it screams more like a house dress to me. I can't get it out of my mind. <laughs> Here's the art illustration again. And not just a house gown, but like, do you guys remember those 1950s and 60s uh, nightgowns that, you know, our grandmothers used to wear? That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> Um, the description reads, loose fitting flared tent dress that has shaped yoke with lace trim and low cutout armholes with bias facings. Dress has front and back gathers, sizing pockets and five, eight, seven inch narrow hem and length variations. And the sewing rating is average. So again, it looks more like a, um, it's the lace, I think that makes it look more like a house dress to me. So I think if you choose your trim very wisely, it will probably look less like a house dress. And like I said, this this one here, it doesn't give me house dress vibes. It's just I'm not too in love with the with the lace trim there. 
but it is a gorgeous dress. I love tent dresses and in most cases anyway, if it doesn't look too uh, like a muumu style, which this one doesn't, it just looks more like a house dress when done in white and white lace. Let's look at this Marcy Tilton pattern here. This is the Vogue V2030. You can get this in PDF and paper. And the sizes are 8 to 16 and 18 to 26. The description reads, A-line tunic fitted through bust collar. Uh, you have a collar, button front, front end seam pockets, and invisible hem. View A is sleeveless and has bias armhole facings. View B has below elbow length sleeves with binding details. And here is our line art here. I like the pattern. However, I'm not one to wear a lot of styles like this. So personally, for me, I would probably say no for, for this one. However, I do like the detailing of this. I think the collar is very unique. You have a mixture of like very easy applications that you're going to be doing with this with some applications that's like in that uh, intermediate phase. So I do like that for the pattern. It's saying that it's easy. Easy does not always equate to fast and it doesn't always equate to beginner friendly. And so I think especially like for buttons, buttonholes, those types of things, it's not going to be beginner friendly. However, I do think it will be relatively easy because it looks like it has very few pattern pieces. I don't like the way that they styled this. The bottom of it looks more so like a tent. The top looks more slim fitting. It's just, I'm not certain if this goes well with the model and also the, the styling that they chose. This here is a little better. I do like the fabric, the buttons going down the center front. And as I mentioned before, the collar is really cute. Fabric choices are really key, in my opinion, and how you present a pattern and whether or not that pattern is going to stand out and whether or not you're going to like that pattern. I think fabric choice is very key. And here, the fabrics just aren't doing it for me. I think the line art, viewing the pattern from the line art perspective, I really think it has promise. However, the, the, the fabric's just not doing it for me. Personally, as I stated before, I don't really like tops like this, and so I wouldn't be getting it. That collar is just so cute. I love that collar. Let's look at this next pattern. This is the Vogue V2037. You get Mrs. Shirt, Crop, Top, and Pants here. Uh, you can get this in PDF and paper copy. Sizes are 8 to 16 and 18 to 26. Let's look at some of the models here. Again, I don't know what it is about the slim styles on the front and the tent, you know, flaring out to like a tent on the bottom for tops. You have just a basic crop top here that you can put underneath your little top here. And here are some pants here that look pretty promising here. I love these pants. Again, not too wide leg, not too tapered in. So I really like the pants there. Looking at the line art, it does look like this shirt has promise. It's just, I don't know if I like the oversized style for the bottom. Um, maybe they selected the wrong size for the model. I don't know, but it looks a little too uh, flared on the bottom for my taste. Maybe even a different fabric. Maybe this looks more like a cotton fabric. Maybe it's a little bit more stiffer, so it's not um, draping down. It looks like it's kind of sticking out and maybe it's that. I think maybe if we chose a different fabric, let's look and see what the fabric requirements are, if we can find them. Let's see here. So we are looking at linen blends, heavy satin, jacquard and sang tongue. So those are the type of fabrics that it is calling for. And I would think that's one of the reasons why it looks like it's sticking out on her, especially if it's a sang tongue fabric. It looks very stiff. 
Um, I would not choose a stiff fabric for this personally. I would I would choose something that's a little bit more uh, fluid so that it can drape down and not stick out. And I guess maybe that's the style. Maybe that's how you're supposed to wear it. But it, me personally, I would choose something that has more of a fluid drape. Here we have another Rachel Comey um, pattern. This is a jumpsuit, a Mrs. Jumpsuit. This is actually really cute. You can get this in PDF and paper copy. Uh, sizes are 6 to 14 and 16 to 24. Let's look at the model here and how she's sporting this. It's a pretty cute jumpsuit. I think this is more summer friendly than fall, I mean, um, spring. So this is an advanced jumpsuit here. Fabric suggestions. Let's see here. Medium to heavyweight fabrics such as cotton canvas and denim and twill. So you're working with a heavier type fabric there. The description reads that this is a zipper, a zip front jumpsuit that has close fitting bodice with princess seams and is attached to a loose fitting bottom with mock fly front stitching and drawstrings at front ankle, at the front and at the ankle. Jumpsuit has side front seam pockets and patch pockets with flaps on the back. And this is an advanced um, sewing pattern here. So here's the line art. I think it's pretty cute. Yeah, I like this jumpsuit. It's a really cute pattern. I think it's different, especially for Rachel Comey. Um, I like the, the front pockets there. The top stitching detail on the bodice. You have a lot going on here, but it's a really great pattern, I think. Let's look at this next pattern. This is the Vogue V2031 um, PDF and paper copy options. And you have the sizes 6 to 14 and 16 to 24 as your options as well for your sizes. This is a decent pattern. This reminds me of a Butterick pattern that came out several years ago. Um, this is really cute. I love, it looks like you have a forward shoulder here. Yeah, I think that's a forward shoulder seam. I'm just a fan of forward shoulder seams because as someone who struggles with a sloping shoulder, it's so much easier to just have a forward shoulder seam than trying to get your shoulder line to fall on your act the shoulder line of the garment to actually fall on your shoulder line so i really like that i love the gathering there as well those details you have a collar um, you have a button placket buttons going down the placket you also have a cuff that you're going to be putting on the lower edge of the sleeve i love this option here where you can put elastic in the sleeve you have some options of doing uh, lace here so these are different pattern pieces i believe and in between each um section you're you can put lace in between each section of the sleeve which i really love about that you also have lace that's coming down the center front next to the button placket on both sides which i think is really cute as well the description reads that we have a button front blouse that have pointed collar neck band and set in sleeves front and back yoke, and shaped hem. View A has a 7 eighths of an inch sleeve with elastic casing and single edge scalloped lace trim. And view B has a long sleeve with a placket and opening and button cuffs. So this is rated as easy. Here's the line art illustration. And yes, I would get this one. I would get this pattern. I really do like it. Now we have uh, Mrs. Skirts in two different lengths. Vogue V2033. You can get this in PDF and paper copy. Sizes 4 to 12 and 12 to 20. So we have a little bit of a smaller size range. So I don't like that about the pattern. So when we don't have as many sizes, we don't have as much to choose from, obviously. And that will leave certain people out, probably even myself. But this is really cute. I do love this here. You have this uh, yoke that's on the back. Let's see. I think you might even have a yoke on the front. Let's read the description and see 
draped bias cut skirt that has narrow waistband and visible side zipper and hook and bar closure. Three eight seven inch baby hem and length variations. This is meant for average sewers. So I think the yoke is only on the back. I do like the skirt. It is a really cute skirt. I love the options that you can do either like this. I think it's a midi style. Yeah. And then also a maxi length. I just don't like the size uh, selection here that they have given us. Let's see. We have four to 12 and 12 to 20. Now I'm pretty sure that I can probably make the size 16 or 18 depending on you know how they have um sized this some skirts sometimes I can't even get a size 20 to fit it just depends on you know how the sizes uh rank and so I'm not too happy about the size selection we do need those patterns that go up to like the size 26 or whatever um, to include more sizes and even plus sizes. But with Vogue, you know, you rarely get uh, plus size patterns with Vogue. Here we have a unisex uh, pattern here. This is the Vogue V2039 Vogue patterns, unisex shirt and pants. You can get this in a PDF and paper copy, uh, small to 2XL. The description reads, semi-fitted shirts that have stand-up collar, extended shoulders, concealed front button closure, inseam pockets, front pleat detail, and pressed inverted pleat on back. View A has below elbow length sleeves, button cuffs, and continuous lap opening. View B has two has a long two-piece sleeve with inseam opening and button cuffs. Pants have waist facing, side front pocket, side front seams, fly front zipper with hook and, with hook and bar closure. And you have belt loops and back welt pockets. So a pretty decent pattern here. Um, it's not my style. However, really nice for um, if you want to make like matching sets for husband and wife. I think it's really fun for that. I'm not, I don't know if I like this collar here too much. It looks kind of like, you know, stiff and very um, restricting to me. But other than that, I think it's a pretty decent pattern for uh, unisex pants and shirt. Next, we have a Vogue V2032, which is a Mrs. Skirt and two different lengths. You can get this in PDF and paper copy, sizes 8 to 16 and 18 to 26. So I love this pattern more so than the previous one. In terms of sizes, we get more sizes here. Um, the 8 to 16 range and the 16 to 26 range is pretty standard. And I think that's what I'm usually hoping to see when it comes to skirts for Vogue. The description reads that we have a lined skirt that's semi-fitted through the hip, sits one inch below waistline, has a fly front zipper, side front pockets, back welt pockets, belt loops, front slit, and front and back pin tuck details. So I think it's a pretty decent pattern. I don't know about the pin tuck back detail. Pretty decent pattern. I love the skirt. I love it, love it, love it. Pretty cute. And it looks like you can make this in a tweed. Let's read the fabric requirements here. Gabardine linen blends, medium weight denim, sateen, and twill. So I really do like that. It's a pretty decent skirt. I would actually consider buying that. It's a pretty nice skirt pattern. We have a few uh, vintage patterns. This is the Vogue V2042, two different lengths. You could get this in PDF and paper copy. Sizes 8 to 16 and 18 to 26. The description reads that we have a vintage Vogue pattern that's 1970s one piece evening dress, A line dress in above or above knee or evening length that has front bodice and back extension gathered into a bracelet ring. And this is rated as an easy pattern. Here is the art illustration here. 
I'm not too crazy about these types of designs. I think it's a great reproduction, but it's not something that I would actually like to purchase for myself. Here's our other vintage pattern, the Vogue V2041. Mrs. Jumpsuits in two different lengths. You can get this in PDF and paper copy. And the size range is small to extra large. That is a very narrow size range there. Vintage Vogue patterns, and which is a 1970s one-piece jumpsuit. It is an elasticized, high-waisted jumpsuit, an evening or mini length that has an off-the-shoulder elasticized neckline, full, sla full sleeve lengths, and you have elasticized wrist. And this is stated to be very easy. This is an okay pattern. I'm not, again, I'm not for jumpsuits or elasticized off the shoulder style garments. So again, won't be getting this one. We have a few more patterns for Vogue. This is the Vogue V 2028. That is a dress and an overdress. You could get this in PDF and paper copy. Sizes are 6 to 14 and 16 to 24. Let's look at the model here. This looks like it can be a simple little wedding dress as well. It's not too bad. Not too bad. The description reads that this is a flared dress, close fitting through bust, has biased neck and armhole facings, bust and waist darts, invisible back zipper, hook and eye closure, purchase scallop tr lace trim. Uh, you have a fitted A-line overdress that has low armholes, neck, armhole and hem binding, bias loops and button closure on the back. Let's see what that button closure looks like on the back. I didn't see it on the model here. Here we go. Let's see, that one's a zipper closure. It's pretty cute. Has a racer back style. But yeah, they haven't shown the buttons. Okay, here we go. The buttons on the over top here. That's really cute. Scallop Tam. That's actually really cute. Yeah, I think that's a really fun pattern there. Let's look at the line art. Here's the line art detail. Personally, I would probably omit the lace trim. The the purchase lace trim. But I think that this is really cute. I think the dress itself, like you can, if you just make the dress, not the over top, but if you just make the dress, you can layer pretty much anything on top of it or underneath of it, and it would be really cute. So I think that this is a really nice dress here. I love the fabric choice that they selected for the model. I think that this is really cute really cute not the over i'm not too fond of the over shirt thing but i do think this is pretty nice and clean and looks really nice i like the the white legs here very very cute okay we have this uh vogue v 2027 mrs dress in two different lengths You could get this in PDF and paper. Size range is from 4 to 12 and 14 to 22. Again, I'm not really happy about those sizes there. The description reads that this is a close fitting, underlined and lined dress that has neck facing, bias sleeve bands, round neck and front, V back, short sleeves, trumpet bottom, invisible back zipper with hook and eye closure, and a uh, hem that's sewn by hand. I'm not sure if I like this here. I think it's the sleeve for me. It, it's the the sleeve. I don't I don't know if I like this dolman style sleeve with this here with this style. Maybe it's just the way that the models are wearing it, especially this this view here. It just looks 
the fabric doesn't match the style in my opinion um yeah i don't i don't know if i like that one as much we do have a v neckline here deep v back that's cute so i like it in this fabric here this fabric looks a little bit you know better than the previous fabric I think this fabric is okay. Um, but again, it's not it's not a dress that I really am in love with. Let's look at this skirt here. This is a Vogue pattern. Um, oh, it's a dress by Badgley Mishka. You can get this in PDF or paper copy. 8 to 16 and 18 to 26 is our size range. The description reads that this is a dress that is close fitting through the bust. You have a see-through bodice, split front band, long set in sleeves with continuous lap opening, cuffs with button and, and loops, contrast under bodice, has spaghetti scraps, line flared skirt that attaches at the midriff and has three eighths of an inch a baby hem and you have a contrast a sash that's included into the pattern again this is a Badgley Mishka design and it is um, advanced I actually like this I would actually probably omit the under scrapped top if I can and instead of making the the, the long sleeve top see-through which i'm guessing you would need organza or some kind of sheer fabric to make i would actually just make it with a solid fabric that's actually like non-see-through i think it is a gorgeous gorgeous dress let's look at the models variation here i'm not crazy about the fabric selection that they chose here The skirt, I'm not, again, I'm not in love with the print. Let's look at the fabric requirements. Embroidered lace and novelty shears. Contrast one, charmeuse, china silk, crepe de chine. Contrast two and three, heavy satin or makado or taffeta. I hope I said that right. It's either Mikado or Mikado. And so the contrast one would be your top here. So those are the fabrics that's going to be for your charmeuse, your china silk, your crepe de chine. And then your contrast two is your skirt. And that's going to be your heavy satins or your taffetas or your heavy jacquard or things of that nature. Brocade. It's a cute little dress. All right, two more. Here we have a, a dress by Tom and Linda Platt. You can get this in both PDF and paper copy. Sizes 4 to 12 and 14 to 22. It's a line dress that's fitted through the bust, has cut out in the shoulders. Stand up collar with a corded piping detail, front pleat, and invisible back zipper with a hook and eye closure and invisible hem. And this is rated as average. Here is the line art here. I think this will be pretty simple and straightforward. It doesn't look like you have that many pattern pieces. Um, I'm not for this style. This is kind of like the Jackie O. I think it's like the 1960s style or something like that. Not my favorite style. <laughs> it is a really nice and simple sheath dress that I think um, if this is your style would be simple and easy to sew. We have for our fabric requ requirements, crepe back satin, jacquard, linen blends, silk crepe. And for your lining, you're using Charmeuse, China Silk, and Crepe de Chine. 
So not bad, but just not something I would be sewing. And then lastly, we have this Vogue pattern. It's the Vogue V2038, which is a Mrs. Bikini. You can get this in the PDF and paper. Sizes extra small to 2XL. This is a line bikini top that has a halter tie. Backside release buckle and O-ring in front. Line low rise bikini bottom that has an O-ring on the side. And then you have a ruffle hem on your skirt that has ties that ties to the side and it's rated as easy. And here is your line art here. I like the overskirt, but the bikini uh, is just not something that I would actually purchase this pattern for. But the overskirt with the ruffle on the bottom is really cute. It would be something I would like to try. Let me see here. Let's look at this on the model. Yeah, that's a really nice little overskirt. You could probably even make an actual real skirt with this, a real wrap dress skirt. It's a really versatile pattern piece here, and I think it would be really easy to make. So those are the uh, Vogue pattern patterns for this spring let's take a look at some of the new look patterns we don't have much so just hang in there with me it's just a f very few uh pieces here for new look i can tell you right off the bat that some of these patterns that i saw they really look um very familiar to me and so if i can find the different patterns that they resemble, I will sh share that with you. So that way it can uh, help you to not repurchase patterns that you already have. So this is the new look N6776. You can get this in paper only, so no PDF. Uh, the size range is 10 to 18, which is standard for new look. Um, I really wish that they expanded their sizes for new look patterns. Um, but it just seems like new look is mostly for regular sizes, which is really, you know, frustrating because I wish that they would expand the sizes for new look. Um, the description reads that this is uh, Mrs. Dresses that has princess seams and V neckline. View A dress has a bishop sleeve and view B um, is sleeveless. And this is rated as average. I do like the V neckline shape here. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in here. I really do like that V neckline. It looks like you're going to have some gathering on the edge of your sleeve and you're going to put a band on that sleeve edge there. And then it also looks like you're going to have a little bit of a slight puff sleeve and maybe even some gathering on that sleeve head. Um, I do like this. However, because it only goes up to a size 18, most likely I, ha I would have to size this pattern up. A lot of the times they don't put those finished garment measurements on the back of New Look. They started doing it for simplicity and other patterns, but let's see if New Look have the finished garment measurements listed here. Uh, so finished garment measurements, including design ease and wearing ease. So for that size Let's see here, that size 18, as I mentioned here, yes, it falls within that 43 for the bus and 38 for the waist. So yeah, I can definitely get this pattern here. It looks like you're going to have about three inches of ease across uh, the pattern here. And I'm just looking at the body measurements and um, adding whatever ease that they have for design ease down here to the body measurements to see how much you will have for your wearing ease. So it's looking like um, that size 18, I would fall within those parameters there. So I'm a size, about a size 39 to 40 for my bus. If the finished garment measurements are correct as listed here, I will have that three inches of ease for um, wearing ease. This pattern specifically reminds me of a Vogue pattern that came out about 
uh, I don't know, maybe four or five years ago. Um, it, it was also a dress and a jumpsuit. So if you know, you know, it was very popular in the sewing community. I have this dress pattern, so I definitely won't be buying this. But it is a cute dress pattern. I haven't made it yet. You can only get it in paper copy, um, size 8 to 20. The description read that this is a dress and jumpsuit that have close fitting Line bodice with princess seams, round neckline, side pocket, stitched hem, and bag zipper. Sleeveless dress, view A, has a gathered skirt, crop jumpsuit with view B, and has wide leg pants and a short sleeve. Um, it is rated as easy. Now, this is identical. When I say identical, this is identical to that Vogue pattern. And I'm going to try and see if I can find a copy of that and put that copy up here so you can see what I'm talking about. But it's definitely identical to that Vogue pattern. New look, you're not fooling me. You won't get my money for this one, even though I do like the skirt variation of this here. Next, we have this uh, new look pattern that is uh, Mrs. Top and Pants, paper copy only, sizes 10 to 22. Loose fitting top with button front closure and semi-fitted pull-on pants with elastic waist and side pockets are easy to sew. It's titled as easy and I would agree with that. You do have, you know, some buttons that you're putting on the front, but um, other than that, it looks pretty easy and straightforward. Not my style, but it does look like it's very beginner friendly, easy to sew. Here we have another uh, pattern that looks like it's going to be easy as well. Mrs. Jacket, shorts and pants, paper copy only, sizes 10 to 22. The description reads that we have a relaxed unlined jacket that has dropped shoulder, shawl collar, Patch pocket and back slit, pants with tapered leg and shorts have an elasticized waistband, ending at the hip bone, and finish off with a flat panel and front where you can add a fabric tie belt. And here is the line art. Again, very, very simple and easy. This jacket reminds me of the... Um, what jacket was that? I want to say it's a simplicity jacket that I did a pattern review and also a sew along for. If you want to look at that sew along, I'll try to put that in the description box below so you can go over and look at the sew along for that. Uh, but again, very identical to that pattern as well. So if you have that pattern, don't go out and get this pattern because it's it's basically the same pattern. Here we have this new look in 6779. You can only get this in paper format, extra small to extra large. You have a bra top and pants. Bra top has front lace up detail that can be worn as a layering piece or alone as a cute crop top. Wide leg pull on pants have a high paper bag waist and side seam pockets and it is titled as easy i thought we were kind of out of this paper bag phase <laughs> um it's not one of my favorite styles let's look and see what the model is doing here um yeah it's not one of my favorite styles here um definitely not a pattern that i actually like all that much but with regards to the actual pattern itself uh, this also reminds me of a simplicity pattern that has a paper bag style that came out several years ago. I think about three years ago. So again, this is definitely another reproduction. Here we have a new look knit top and skirt. Paper uh, format only, small to 2XL. The description reads, pullover crew neck top that has puff sleeves and drawstring on the sides of the waist. Skirt with elasticized waistband and figure hugging. Fit comes in mid midi length and side slit and with a slight slit. This is also rated as easy. I absolutely love that top. It's really cute. I love the um, the details up at the top, how you have like the yoke there up at the top. I'm not too crazy about the side drawstrings. Um, however, I do like the gathered sleeve with the puff. 
Let's look and see how the model is wearing this here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too crazy about the drawstrings. I feel like they should have selected a different color for the drawstrings as well. Um, it looks like it has promise, but I'm not too crazy about the drawstrings there. But the, the overall um, styling of the top, I think, is really cute. We have another dress. This is a knit dress, very similar to some of the knit dresses we've had in the past, sleeveless, uh, fit and flared type um, dress here. Also reminds me of a few McCall's patterns that we have. Uh, you could get this in two, 2X small to 2XL. It's an easy a uh, sleeveless pullover dress that's sized for knits only, has a scoop neckline, and you can do this in a maxi length or a short length dress as well. Here's another dress here. This is a dress in two different lengths here as well. Paper copy only. 10 to 22 is our size range. And it's easy to sew in two different lengths that has a back zipper with a front and back uh, released pleats. It's a pretty decent pattern. Looks more like a tent dress at the bottom there underneath the pleats. So that's a pretty decent pattern. Not my favorite new look collection. So if I were to get anything from... Uh, these two collections for the Vogue collection and the new look. It would be this dress here, the new look N6776. And for Vogue, I would definitely get this, um, this pattern here, which is the Diane Von Futzenberg's V2040 pattern. Absolutely love that pattern. I do like that Vogue, let's see here, it would be this one here, if I were to get any of the skirts from this collection. So those are my thoughts on the latest Vogue and New Look pattern release. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of these two releases and if you will be buying anything from either one of these collections. Um, I do think that we have some decent innovative styles coming out of Vogue and a new look I feel like we have a lot of repeats which I'm not surprised by but let me know in the comment section below what you thought of these two collections and if you would be buying anything from any of them all right thank you for tuning in I hope you all have a blessed and happy sewing week and I will talk to you all in the next video bye